Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a market review of the SPY. I've done this the last few days because I've been calling the market high over the high every day the last few days. And if you've gone long the market aggressively into the open the last few days, you've made money going long this market. This market is setting up prime and ripe and ready to get over the high. Is it going to do it today? Most likely because it's getting very close. Some traders are trying to, going to try to short this thinking it's a triple top. Uh, people will never stop doing that. As long as it's the end of time, people will continue to take poor trading positions and bad entries and things and think that things are strategies that are completely non-existent, like shorting tops, and, and it's just there's nothing there. But anyways, the market will blow over the high whenever it does it. It could be today. It's really very early here. It's 10 of 1, and the market is 25 cents from getting over and making another new high at 189, 189.02. So it very well could do it today. If it doesn't today, the market will probably gap up tomorrow and do it. You know, or do it on the live trading day tomorrow. But it's it's so early here. I and mean, there's three more hours left in the trading day, and the likelihood of it doing it today is is actually very high. So I've been calling this long, and it was a good call because the market ran up here, made a new high. And then on this day, I remember doing a webinar, and I said, don't think this market's coming in. It was Thursday, March 13th, and I was doing a live webinar the market was screaming red this day, and I said, the market is not coming in, we're not coming in, we're not coming in. We're going to make a new high, and we and we are going to do it. We are setting up to do it. So here we are. Market came in to support held beautifully here, and it's gapped up every day in the last week. Gapped up, gapped up, gapped up, gapped up. There's only one thing that makes this type of activity, and that is buying. The market can't gap up every night into the morning without it being bought. It's buying that's making the market gap up. It's buying that's behind the power trend of the market. It's the market is a long. And I made a great call on this. I made a great call on this because the market is strong and it's a long. And the only one that I know that called this market correctly here. Okay? And so many people are going to get blown through their stops here. And I think we rally hard over that high on the day that we do it, which could be today and for a couple of days after the fact. Because new buying will come in. New buying will come in. It will be new buying over that high and then the shorts getting stopped out. A lot of nice bullish charts here setting up for a good beautiful entries or you should still be in them but a lot of people gave up on the longs because they bought into this concept of the market being extended or toppy which is was false. So anyways this is a great chart here for the bulls. Beautiful gap up that happened here ran up to new highs booped over 200 and should make a nice rally here with this bullish market. That chart looks spectacular. A little thin, but beautiful, ATHN. GMCR, another amazing bullish chart here in this market. Look at the power. Look, this is just picture, picture, picture perfect. Look at these moving averages. Look at it holding here in the buy setup. This, this isn't going much of anywhere today. It's tired, had a beautiful green day yesterday, but this, this will continue to keep going. Unless it does something that makes it bearish, it gaps down. But for now, this is setting up really perfect, picture perfect. Facebook is caught in an area of congestion, but should make it through it with the help of the market, getting over the next number, which is 65, and then over the next number, which is around 66, 25, 66. Facebook is set to continue to go higher and make new highs this year. Nice chart in here. And this counts as a whole because this isn't the first gap in Facebook. This was last uh, January, January 30th. And even though it did a little tally thing back here, this counts as a hold for Facebook. See it? So Facebook is set to make a scoop around again. Netflix, the same thing. Beautiful bullish chart, Netflix. Again, Netflix did not need to hold this gap here. All right? It's holding this area in here. This is the area of support for Netflix. It's about 348-ish. Okay? It's holding. Again, this is caught an area of congestion here. But it's getting ready to make its leg back up again to make new highs this year, too, in Netflix. Netflix is a great bullish chart. It's a monster. It's a beast. It's a beautiful chart. You can see a lot of people got out of this who were long it. But they're going to miss the big payday when Netflix gets over 450, unless they want to take a new entry in here. Again, this is, these are beautiful charts that have pulled into areas of support that are strong, strong, strong charts to take long with this market. That is the play. That is the play if you're doing overnights or core trades if you want to do longs. Good, strong charts with a bullish market. Uh, what was the other one? Hmm, I thought there was another one. Maybe that was it. I thought I had one more nice, beautiful, beautiful chart. I can't think of it. Anyways, uh, markets are all bullish. 
Kiwis are kind of caught in this area today for some reason. I don't know what the deal is. Had a beautiful bullish day yesterday, but caught, caught, caught. Spy is ready to get over the high, though, so could very well push the Qs over the high. And let's see. Ran up to 188.90 into 12.30. We're just so early here today. So what could happen is the market could come in and get bought in the 15 minute and then go over the high into the close. Or the market could push up through the high right now into 1 o'clock, 1.15, rally, rally, just continue rallying, just rally. If the market sets up here over the high now, the market could just straight, full-on, power trend rally into 4 o'clock. So that, that's the other possibility here. It's going to make up its mind in like 8 minutes. So between, between now and, well, between 1 and 1.15. Between 1 and 1.15, this market has to either go immediately and just power trend into 4 or start to pull in, and if it does, it's a buy on the 50-minute chart and will set up somewhere between 1 and 2, 2.15, and then rally over the high into the close between 2.15 and 4. But if you've been following on my market calls, you've been able to take advantage of the bullishness here in the market. And, you know, i got to hand it to myself because I do live in my own world when I look at charts. It's just me and the charts when I make decisions. I blank out everything that everyone says. And because I'm able to do that, I'm able to see things very clearly. It's hard when you are uh, trading and you're listening to too many different things and too many different people and too much different stuff on the net and on television and everything. You can really get confused. If you trust yourself and your mentor, if I happen to be your mentor or if you want me to be, and you trust the charts, it's a lot easier because when you get uh, caught where too many people are having too much uh, influence over your trading decisions, you won't be clear in making the correct decisions and therefore then you won't trade well. Very bullish day here in the market today. Very bullish day in the market yesterday. Very bullish close is going to happen today in this market and expect a bullish week for the next week or so or at least the end of this week between Thursday and Friday. Unless we gap up something crazy tomorrow or Friday where we actually come in and trade intraday red because the gap up so big. But I actually think we're going to have some huge, massive Megalodon green bars that could start set up here into the close today and thenceforth because we have not had them and I've been predicting them for a month. I've been predicting them on days when the market was red. I've been predicting them just to warn people and tell people don't get caught up into this. You've got to look at the bigger picture and the bigger picture was always that the market was actually going higher. Every once in a while, you can make money doing a short-term down, uh, downward pull-in move in something that's strong, but you didn't really make any money even in that in the market. I mean, this went absolutely nowhere. If you shorted this uh, double top in the market, you didn't even get paid. Between the, the time you put in the stop, where you had to put the stop and get, yeah, there was zero risk to reward. It was just, it was a worthless trade and a bad trade at that, okay, because there's no strategy here. The strategy I trade is gaps. That's what I teach the class on. That's the way that I trade. And I'm not even a, a trader that enjoys going long. I enjoy going short, preferably over long. But I've called the market well because I can read strength in the market, just like I can read weakness well. And that's why I'm good at teaching people how to do this. I'm teaching people how to read weakness and strength. And I'm teaching people how to do it in gaps. So the next gap class is this weekend, April 5th and 6th. I'm doing a bonus gap third day on April 8th if you're interested. I think if anyone wants to trade the market as an individual, you have to understand how to read price and you have to understand how to read gaps. Things gap all the time. They gap with you, against you. The market gaps almost every single day. And in reading the market is challenging. It's challenging. Most people cannot read the market right. And the reason that I have called this market correctly and very, very well, actually, very accurately, is because I read gaps well. And they have told me what the market does. And I've read this in a bullish direction and my preference is to short, okay? So take it for what it's worth. This stuff is real, and uh, you can learn how to make money in the market if you really decide that you want to learn how to do it. It's certainly possible. And uh, this is not like this is brain surgery. I think it's just that many people have so many incorrect uh, influences in them and do not know what to look for. They absolutely just do not know what to look for. And when they meet up with me and they do the gap class, then I tell them what to look for. And when you learn what to look for, you just look for it and you play it. When you get it, you play it, and when you don't, then you don't. And that's the end of the story. Now, yeah, look, here it's just going to try to get over the high right now. Nope, yep, no pulling. No pulling. No pulling at all. Long entry in the market this morning, and no pulling at all here. It's getting into 1 o'clock. 
so tight. The, long, the tighter this gets, the bigger the blow is going to be. This is like around 10.25. For two and a half hours, the market has traded in a tight, 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 tight bullish range, not even coming in. Getting ready, getting ready, getting ready, getting ready, just completely getting ready. Yeah. I don't think it's going to pull in here really at all, and the 50 is just going to go. Let's go to 30. Oops. Look at that. Every tail, every come in is being bought. A tail is being bought. The tail is being bought. There's people out there that are still thinking about shorting this number when it gets to 189. So crazy. Look at this. Look. This is a 60 minute. So very nice. Beautiful bullish market, and I gave you some nice bullish charts. Oh, you know what? Tesla. That's the other one I to look at. Hold on. <laughs> this is the other nice chart here. I knew there was one more I couldn't think of. And of course, Google. Yeah, here it is. Beautiful buy set of triggered yesterday in Tesla, falling through today. Getting up to near a congestion, but you could have been long Tesla all day here with the market. Look at this chart. Really, really, really nice. Beautiful move in Tesla. Nice long. Look at this chart. Here again, do you kill this? If you're long Tesla, would you kill it? No. You got to wait. You got to wait to get paid. I mean, unless you're day trading this, but I mean, if you're in Tesla for a core long, and you get a bar like this, it's a beautiful, beautiful, strong stock. You don't kill it. Here it goes. Just great chart. Beautiful little chart there. And we'll look at Google. This has just made such a monstrous move here. Such a monstrous move. So this has to get through a lot of congestion before it gets going again. But with the bullish market, they'll continue. Ch chart trend in this is still very, very, very strong. Very strong here. But it's got to get going again. Needs to get some more momentum into this again. But should should get the help of the market too. All right. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Just doing a bullish update here for people that do like to go long. You know, I've considered back and forth about doing a bullish gap course because I know it would be really, really good. Um, even though I prefer to go short, you know, I'm just calling these bullish moves so well. And I know the charts that are solid, solid bullish place. So look for the market to do something here between now and 115. It's either going to get over the high between now and 115 and rally into the close and make new highs. Or it'll pull in uh, on the 15 minute chart between now and 2, 215. And then set out to make new highs. Be close green today with a fat green bar, I think. It's got to get going here soon. Here, here. Over 188.82. Yeah, this is almost setting up like a breakout play. Market trading is so tight here, so tight since 1030. It's, it's almost setting up like a breakout play. This is like actually setting up like a breakout play higher in the market. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If anybody is interested in signing up for the Golden Gap class this weekend, it's April 5th and 6th. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everybody, and have a fantastic day.